Welcome back. Thank you, man. Nice to be back, man. Yeah. <sighs> injured, man, to be honest with you. Injured, man. But I'm back now, feeling healthy. Feeling good, man. Hopefully, we can get a dub today, man. We need a big game, man. From where the boy started to where we are now, it's been, um, it's been a big transformation, to be honest. So, if we won the London Cup, mate, <sighs> crazy. I think we got to remember on the way here, we beat Kenningwell, we beat UTR, we beat Kamazi, all top teams who have won, you know, leagues in, in, in their time. Um, so I think this is just another game, right? Um, in that sense, we, we played against we played against best teams in, in this cup run. So, well done, bro. How are you? I'm alive and well. Yeah. Yeah. Feeling good about today. I have to take off this to. Uh, Same. This is no big time. Man. How are you feeling about today? Good man. W. Carol. Yeah. Today. Yeah. I want to yeah. see them just get through. I don't care if it's a two-one last-minute winner or a one-nil or five-nil. I just want to make yeah, sure yeah, that yeah. we get through to the next round. Two more to go, and then we're there, man, picking up the trophy. Um, I want to hear us loud. I want to hear some culture. Um, and I think that's what will carry us through. We know we can do the football side of it. It's the other side that is a real test for us. So that's what I think will be our biggest thing today. They're very experienced, very experienced players. Set pieces and long balls where they're going to be, where they're going to be strong. So giving away cheap corners, giving away uh, cheap free kicks, avoid it. Avoid it by all costs, yeah? Let's use experience. Halfway line, if you see them breaking, give the foul. Play the smart game today, boys, yeah? Play the experience game, play the smart game. Let's make sure we're on point, setting up corners properly, yeah? Dads, make sure you're setting up corners properly. Everyone on a man, back post, back six, all of it. Make sure you guys are keeping an eye out for these things. They're no bigger than us, yeah? So when it comes to set pieces and that, it's gonna only come down to fucking who oh, wants it more, innit? It's not, they do not have an advantage over us, yeah? They've, they've been fucking warming up for like five minutes, yeah? We've been at it for half an hour, so there's no excuse not to start from the fucking go, from the jump, yeah? yeah? Let's make this fucking happen. Come on, boys. Did he? Anything? On three, let's go, did he then? One, two, three, sir! Let's go. Plenty of talking, plenty of talking. Welcome back to another episode of Saha FC TV and today we've got a special one. It's the London Cup quarter final against Olympia FC. Massive game. Olympia are North London team who we've never played before and were finalists in last season's London Cup. Saha coming off some big wins against Kamazi Strikers, Under the Radar and Kenningwell. Can the upset train continue? Olympia with the kickoff. Saha fielding a very strong team today with a nice full bench. Olympia goalkeeper with a big boot. Good header by Nads. Welcome back, Nads. After a long injury layoff, is playing his first game this season. Very good to have him back. Powerful centre back. Good feet and loves a header. Oh, wow. Son of a. <laughs> you tried to pull out. <laughs> you tried to pull out. Hood. You ain't got one. For some reason, the rain has come out in full force. Nads chooses to spray it. Riffs just miss it. Oh, no one can quite grab a hold of it. Daz, Lorenzo, back to Nads. Nads all loses it a bit, chips it out wide. Number 11 out again. One on one with Lorenzo. 11 gets a shot off, oh, clears by Alvin. Saha not being able to get the ball down and just control it with feet yet. The number three. Oh, what a... Oh, no. Alex Hallett with a questionable slide tackle there in the first five minutes. No real reason to do so. The number three had no real sight on goal. Maybe the rain played a factor to it. Olympia with a massive chance to take the lead. Let's see what our teenage sensation Keanu can do. Let's keep it Sunday league. Saha nil, Olympia one. Calmly taking penalty, bottom right. Kiani had no chance. Well taken. One nil down, first five minutes. It's all about the reaction now. Saha have started well, they're at home. There's no reason why they can't take control of this game. Lorenzo in the midfield. Passes it to Casey. Casey holding the ball off well. Showing that power and experience there. Lorenzo again hunting. Alvin just a short pass to Yas. Yas with options. 
goes for a strike, gets blocked. Olympia doing very well to kind of congest the box early on. Didn't give Yas a lot of choice there. On the ball with Yas again. Oh, good little feet there to get past the defender. Look how many players are back for Olympia already in the game. Only one player in, in our half. Strong tackle by Pedro Porro there. Oh, it's number 12. Uh, number 12 who gave away the foul initially almost scored for us. Did he win the ball? Good one too by Lorenzo and Diddy. Diddy gliding through. The battle between Yas and the number 12 is going to be quite interesting. One on one. Holds the ball well. Oh, Rabona to KC. It's 1 1. Oh, no, offside. What amazing play by Yas there. Gives a Rabona cross to KC. KC brings the ball down. Let's have a look. So, Yas is 1 on 1 with Pedro Poro. Cuts back. Rabona perfectly weighted and actually gives a back heel shot. Perfect cross, perfect finish. By the white line, KC is off. Right decision. Now Daz on the ball. Short pass to Yas. Yas to Riffs. Quick pass to Yas, but just behind him. Saha just having fun with it right now. To Daz. Back to Yas again. To Riffs. To Daz. To Riffs. <laughs> Olympia not pressing in our defensive third. More than happy for us to have it in our half and just keep a low block. Understandable, but it's a risky game plan. All it takes for us to equalize for the momentum of the game to change. What an amazing pass by Yas to KC. KC holds the ball off well to Diddy. Diddy with space. Maybe one for the Reapers. Che driving with the ball again. Out wide. To Diddy. Diddy's found a lot of success on, out wide so far. Yas with the overlap. All, all of Saha's attackers are on the right wing. No one in the box. Very good play by Saha there to open up a bit of space. But again, Hallett there. Saha pinning back Olympia. Nine men behind the ball. What can Diddy do from here? Riffs makes a run, but Diddy doesn't pick it up to Yas again. Yas to Riffs to Diddy. Diddy just tries to float it over the top for Yas, but just mistimes it. Great play there between Yas, Diddy and Riffs. A scary combination. Coming back to Diddy again. Saha just playing in this middle third with no real threat from Olympia to get the ball off them. Che, amazing ball for Daz. Oh, Daz couldn't quite get the ball down. What a ball by Che. Alvin with a crunching tackle there. Alvin with my guy, but that was a shocker. Seven times out of ten, he wins this, but completely misjudges it. Pedro Porro being very cheeky there, trying to get Alvin a yellow. He cannot do that. And it's a yellow card for Alvin. I think that's fair. From the replay, you could see Alvin only got his toes. Definitely a foul, definitely a card. Nothing more than that. Let's play on. Oh, there's no need. He's got a final, bro. Come on, man. I know, but still, bro. You know, if he's brought it down, he's got... Bro, even, if he's, even if he's brought it down, he wouldn't have gone past. Nads with the ball. Good little outside the football out to Casey, but Casey's, Casey either slips or gets a nudge. Time! Amazing control there by Diddy. Wrist with a revy to Diddy. 
Did he cut in? Can he strike? Oh, no to Yas. Oh, great block by their number nine. Great block. Yas was essentially one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. And when it's one-on-one, -on -one, always bet on Yas. The number nine puts his body on the line to stop that. Saha have had all the ball and all the success in this first half, but all credit to Olympia there. Sticking together. Looks as CEO is going to have to open up his wallet for this one. With a great ball out to their left winger. Left winger against Hallett. Great save by Kiani. Number 19 with a shot. Blocked by Daz. All a bit desperate at the back there, I must say. But we did just enough. I'm not sure how that was given as a foul. With another free kick into the box. It's 2 0 to Olympia. The number four with a very good ball in. Not sure exactly why the number 12 is on the floor. Bounces straight into the middle of the penalty box. Saha have switched off there. Come on, Great touch, by the way. Sorry. Sorry. It's gone through, we get the ball. You ain't gonna like what I'm about to say because it's contradicting what the scoreline is. Nads, 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 you lot, I beg you not to take the fucking piss now, please, boys. Just let him talk. But in terms of the game wise, I feel like we're fully in control of the ball. That's we're controlling the game. Two mistakes have led to a goal. We're on each other's backs in a quarter final, bro. We can bring this back. They don't they don't want to get near you, lot. They're fucking scared every time we attack. But it's true, we need to get the shots off. Getting on each other's backs is gonna help who? I get we're grown men and you've got to get told when something's done wrong or this or that. But they know themselves. They do know. So let's just move on. How are we going to now approach this and win this game? That's what we have to do. So, we are. Are we doing that sub digs? Yeah. So one thing as well. When a team sits in, you can't ram it through the middle, bruv. Like, if you're giving it to me, I've got four men around me, yeah? There's it has so, to go out, there's outside. There's so much space. But, on the way, but when it goes wide, it has to come keep, in. Keep, 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 hey, keep to, we're right chopping back. Right we're going, trying to go round, round, and then we're losing it, and they're breaking on us. Make the end decision, bro. It goes wide, cross it, get in the box. It's worked though in that middle, playing it off you and riffs. Like we've we've got the, the the last pass is just not coming in, but we've got into that area but to get it done. Mad tight. We just need to get that when it gets to someone, yard and shot. Get a yard and let's shoot. Boy, sometimes yeah, we're playing nice in a certain area and we're not switching it quick enough. There's like a two v one, does and the left wing. It's a two v one free. all listen, the time. We've been here we before, but we've been three 0 down and come back on one, yeah. So please, bro, this team's not. Like I said before, yeah. If you don't, I don't care who we've got on our team. If you don't want defense set pieces, we're not gonna win games. For that set piece, I saw. I purposely said, you get him, you get him, you get. As soon as the ball come in, people are leaving their men. You're leaving their men and they're scoring. It's not just this week; it's every week. Take responsibility, this is my man, I'm not leaving him. I'm here with him. It's me or you. But the ball comes in, people are ball watching, the man just drifting off them, free port across, tapping. It's basic stuff. We can say, oh, set pieces, we can say this, that, yeah, cross the ball when it gets there. But if we don't defend, we're not gonna win games. No matter how good Keanu is, we're not gonna win games. Fucking defend. Set pieces, make it your ball, stick with your man. It's you against him. But the next goal is going to be the most important. We get the next goal, I'm telling you, the game opens up. They know, they're saying it on the sidelines. They don't know what to do with us when we're on the ball. When Shea's gliding through, they keep asking, who's Shea, who's Shea? He's gliding through the ball. They don't know what to do. Listen, listen, they're two no up and their manager's on them. Yeah? <clears throat> That's because we've been the better team for 45 minutes, bro. We've let two <coughs> shit goals in, which we, like, I can't like, it's a so hard way. We make things hard for ourselves. It's gone. We've got 50 minutes now. To get into the semi-finals of the, of the London Cup, yeah. Everyone wants to be in the cup, yeah. London Cup, boys. Yeah, London Cup. Everyone wants to be in it, yeah. Forget the first half; it's done, yeah. Me and Yasuo, everything's done. Clean slate. Got there. 50 minutes. Win the game. Simple. Come on. That's it. Energy. London Cup. I quest. Come and win this, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I put you on Muslim. They are Muslim. They're Muslim Haribos. That's why you're saying that. Hello. One change by the gaffers sees Alvin coming off for Kwesi. Can he come in and make a positive impact on this game? Good run by Kwesi. Kwesi ends up getting a shot off. Goalkeeper fumbles it twice. Lorenzo tries to get a touch on. 
How are you, bro? Bless me. Cressy on the ball with time to look up and make a choice. Goes for Lorenzo. Back to Cressy. Cressy to Riffs. Riffs to Che. Che with a great pass to Cressy. Cressy out to Diddy. Diddy cuts in with a shot. And it's a penalty for Saha. But their defender, the number nine, who's with the blonde hair, it looks like he just sticks his arm out a little bit. After it passes, yes, you can clearly see that the ball has changed direction. From this position, it's hard to see if that was caused directly by his hand, but the ref is directly in the line of sight and can see it. Saha one, Olympia two. Five minutes into the game, there's still all to play for. Olympia not happy with that. They reckon that it wasn't a penalty. Jay on the ball. Olympia not pressing. Oh, far left, Daz making a run. Can he reach him? Oh, yes, he does. What a great pass. Daz on his left foot. Can't quite wrap it. What a pass by Che. Che with good strength there to, to regain possession. Olympia calling for a handball, not sure what they're seeing. Look at the record, you can rock it! Look at the Great ball to Casey. Casey to Diddy. Diddy with a great first pass to Kwesi. Kwesi and it's 2 2. Come on! Get the ball! Kwesi coming on in the second half. What an amazing impact he's had. And this is definitely what Saha deserves. Easily been the better team throughout the whole game. Great composure by Diddy there to just place the ball perfectly for Kwesi. Kwesi, all he had to do is just smash it. It's the Madrid way. This is dodgy as fuck. That's dodgy as fuck. He's fucking caught it. He's not going to change it, is he? That's fucking cheating, get on camera. Good content, good content. That's not a that's a handball, no goal. No goal. And a penny, bullshit. Olympia have been calling for everything all game, to be honest. And Olympia's management are behind the camera. So for them to feel so strongly about it, you have to call it, completely understand, but no chance. Did he tell them to calm though? Calm. Still stay calm. How long, Lano? <laughs> oh, I do not want penalties again. We've got to win it. I ain't got the heart. For a gems. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I ain't got it. I ain't got it in me for pens, bro. I'll just sit in my car and just hear it. From the radio. <laughs> Winners! To Kwesi. To Yas again. Yas driving against Pedro Porro. The number three gets the ball, but leaves. But Yas leaves a little something on him. Their number 19, long ball out to their 11. Oh, Halep misjudges it. And it's a penalty. Olympia get the penalty. It looks like it was a Halep's foot. Simple ball over the top. Halep loses the foot race. And in the desperation to get back, Halep just clips his back foot. Not malicious at all, but a penalty all day. And Halep, who was already on a yellow card from the first goal, receives a second yellow and a red card. Zaha are now down to 10 men. Zaha two, Olympia three. Another goal conceded while still being the better team. Ref, ref, we made a sub, yeah? Did he with a quick touch to Kwesi? Kwesi being pinned back by the number three but still regains possession. Out to Che. 
Che with, with time on the ball. Out to Kwesi again. Kwesi with a very good pass out to Blake. Just loses touch. And yes, great parry by the goalkeeper. Another great save by the goalkeeper. In case he wasn't able to get a strong enough touch on the ball there. Kind of actually lost all its momentum when it went into his foot. Che out to Casey. Casey with a very good little flick back to Yas. Yas being way too honest there. People, let me know in the comments. Was Yas too honest there? Their defender goes flying out. Yas with very good close control there to get past him. Their number nine just sticks a lazy foot out to try and get something on the ball. But Yas jumping over him. All credit to Yas, to be honest, wanting to play football. Five, two minutes, a minute ago. <laughs> you just said five. I'm the one with Number 17 out. To the left back, number five. Number five brings it in. Not sure exactly how Che and Diddy are the two centre backs. But just do enough. Bonnie slide tackles and it's one on one. Kiani with a great save. This is Olympia's best chance of the game. Kiani brave, running straight out, making his body as big as possible, which actually causes their attacker to hesitate. More touches than necessary, trying to go round Kiani. But he's able to get through, and another save by Kiani. Somehow, Olympia were able to get through that mass blockade from Zaha. Long ball out from Kiani. Barely any time left. As it stands right now, Saha are out if they cannot equalise. Yas. Yas on the ball. Looking for options. To Che. Oh, great last ditch tackle. Can Diddy shoot? Blocks again. Casey out wide. Puts the ball in. Oh, great block. Chips it out. To Blake, oh, what a save by the goalkeeper. Out wide. Whips the ball in again. Lorenzo and Bonnie both going up. Oh, just misses it. Speechless. That was the moment. Three massive chances for Saha to get the equaliser there. Each time getting closer than the last. That's the only one. Bonnie and Kian launch themselves into the air. It's actually Kian who ends up with the ahead on it. One more chance for Saha. Last kick of the game. Che with a cross. Olympia defend it well. Come on, Red! Come on, Red! Come on, Red! And that's it. Full time. Saha 2, Olympia 3. Saha are out of the London Cup at the quarter-final stage. An overall great team performance, dominated from minute one to minute 98, but three individual errors cost them the game. All credit to Olympia, who couldn't actually field their strongest 11, but showed up and were determined and gritty from minute one. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. Please, if you liked it, leave us a like, comment your thoughts on the game, and subscribe.